Hi, this is Danielle Dawes and today I'm going to show you how I tie a bow using wide ribbon. The ribbon I'm using today is from May Arts and it's beautiful to work with. I'll start with about an 80 centimetre length of ribbon. That's slightly more than I'll actually need, but I like having a little bit extra to play with. Left side goes down and then the right side goes up. Now the bottom portion goes around underneath and pull through. Now you'll see me twist the other side of the ribbon, that's just to make the, the knot sit nice and neatly underneath the bow. I'll make the first loop by flicking that top piece towards me. And then with the other side of the ribbon, go around and pull through. Just like when you tie your shoelaces. Now you'll see straight away this is not a perfect bow. And it's very, very rare for it to be perfect right at the very beginning. But the point is that you can manipulate it. Now there are two different things that I've um, learnt as I've, as I've been doing bows and that is that the top portion where you can see me pulling on right now, that controls the length of the tails and the size of the loop. The back section that you can see me pulling on now, that controls the tightness of the knot and of the entire bow. So with knowing both of those things you can pretty much manipulate your bow however you need it to go. I try not to use adhesive until the very last minute and only if I really need to if the ribbon just isn't going to sit where I want it to sit. Uh, and that's because if I get completely frustrated I want to be able to undo the entire ribbon and start again. And it's much easier to do it without any adhesive already in place. But when I do use adhesive um, it would be just behind the knot in its final position and I'd use a glue dot. So now that I've got the bow basically done, I'll put it into position and then I'll fluff around with it a little bit more. I do take quite a bit of time doing each bow. It, you do get quicker at it. Um, it certainly used to take me a lot longer than it does now. So I'll get the tails into position of how I want to sit them and then I'll trim the tails. Now when trimming the tails I use uh, a pair of dressmaking scissors. I find they give the nicest cut. And I try not to trim uh, too short to begin with. You'll see that I'll um, trim the right hand side again in a minute. But it's much better to have to trim a little bit extra off than it is to try and figure out how your bow is going to sit with tails that are slightly too short. Now a pet hate of mine is um, fraying ribbon and that's just a personal choice um, and it's just something that frustrates me when I've finished a card. So what I do is put um, the ribbon through a flame very very lightly and only with some types of ribbon. So with this type of ribbon or satin ribbon that would work quite well. Other ribbons you definitely don't want to put a flame on there. So my best piece of advice is to try it before you do it on your card and make sure you keep the section that is going through the flame well away from any cardstock. And that is the bow pretty much done. So the way it's sitting there now I won't need to put a glue dot behind it but as I said before if I was going to I would just put one straight behind the knot. So there it is, that's how I tie a bow with wide ribbon. Thanks very much for watching.